So now that I don't make fun of Ralph anymore, because he's doing he's doing pretty well. I'm I'm a little bit proud of my boy. He's managed to clean up and stay clean for a couple weeks. Good on him. As I say, I always root for comeback story. Someone like Ralph can come back from the brink and do well. Then nobody has any excuse. So I will I will bite my tongue for a little bit and see what happens. However. Just because Ralph is doing well does not mean that we cannot have our Ralph segment. For there is now the Ralph Extended Universe, which I have clumped Matthew Vickers and Nick Fuentes into. So this is the Ralph Extended Universe segment now. No longer merely dedicated to Ralph uh, in May. Mr. Vickers um, has been visited by the Sonichu Demon and has filed an addendum or an adjoiner, I think is the technical term, adding in John Doe's 1 through 50 to his defamation lawsuit against Ethan Ralph. If this sounds familiar, it's because it's very similar to the lawsuit that Patrick S. Tomlinson stalker child filed against the entire internet um, when trying to sue his trolls a couple years ago. So... um. I will simply read the two paragraphs that were visible in this. I have received confirmation that I didn't actually believe this at first because this is like a hardcore, this Danny Berry's guy is like a hardcore Vickers A log. So I'm like, I should be cautious about believing this. However, uh, I have received uh, pretty, pretty credible information that this is true. And he is actually suing 50 anonymous John Doe's on the internet. But what for? Let's see. Matthew William Vickers versus Ethan Oliver Ralph and Doe's 1 through 50. Doe's 1 through 50 inclusive are known to the plaintiff who therefore sues said defendants by such fictitious names. Are unknown to the plaintiff who therefore sues said defendants by such fictitious names. Plaintiff will amend this complaint to show their true names and capacities when the same have been ascertained. Plaintiff is informed and believes and therein alleges that each of the defendants, does 1 through 50 inclusive, are negligently or otherwise legally responsible in the same manner for the events referred to in this complaint and has caused financial injuries as alleged in this complaint. As a proximate result of the acts of defendants alleged below, above, plaintiff was hurt and injured. Let me read this correctly. I have to clear up my dyslexia for a second. As the approximate result of the acts of defendants alleged above, plaintiff was hurt and injured his health, strength, and activities, and sustained injury to their nervous system and person, all of which have caused and continue to cause plaintiff's great mental, physical, and nervous pain and suffering. Plaintiff is informed and believed and thereon allege that these injuries will result in permanent disability. As a result of injuries, plaintiff has suffered damages in an amount not yet ascertained and to be shown according to proof at time of trial. So there isn't much meat to the complaint. Simply Vickers adds in 50 anonymous people uh, for some kind of damage that has permanently disabled him as a result of cyberbullying and, and so on. But that's all it says. Now, Vickers is a fat. So when Vickers does something stupid and everyone correctly points out that this is a stupid fucking thing to do, he must posture and go, no, a stalker child. I did not spurge out and sue the internet, fool. Uh, you will see the grand design as I build it in front of you, child. Uh, so he's doing that thing where he's like, no, really, the enormity, the profundity of my uh, uh, immense chess play here cannot be yet viewed in full because it is actually so genius that you spurgs you little kiwi farm spurgs can't possibly comprehend how amazing it actually is so i had a feeling 
that what he was doing is suing Zannyberry specifically. Like I said, this guy is like the top Vickers A log and he makes like a thousand different accounts to like try and troll the fuck out of Vickers on Twitter. And um I had a feeling that maybe what he was doing is suing Zannyberries and because he's had so many different alt accounts, he's suing them at individually as John Doe's one through fifty, but it's just this one guy who maybe has done something line crossing that Vickers feels uh, has injured him. That would be the most generous interpretation possible of the lawsuit. However, Vickers was kind enough to confirm that none of the John Doe's are Zannyberries. So the one A-log who I I saw, who I thought might actually be culpable in some way, shape, or form um, in a way that, you know, obviously I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt saying maybe there is something that this guy has done that is damaging to him that I don't know, uh, but he's not involved at all. So I don't know what the fuck he's doing. And uh, I can't wait to find out because he insists that what he's doing is logical and uh i just can't imagine what it is um so it seems like the the crux of it seems to be that it would be people on twitter however i'm somewhat suspicious that it might be everybody that posts on his kiwi farms thread and if that is the case, I will 100% intervene and directly respond to this on behalf of those people. Because there's not a chance in hell he's going to do this pro se faggot shit and, and try to dox 50 people on my site through his slap complaint. Because that's, that's just not happening. So if Vickers is going to try to subpoena me for information about 50 users uh he's going to get replied to and i'm gonna do a little thing um some kind of war bond run to try and raise money for that Uh, because that's ridiculous i'm not gonna be pushed around by some fat return but i really don't know what what he's up to Uh, this is him responding saying it's paragraph three that is giving the spurgs a mental break they say i'm suing the lowercase i internet lol uh i don't know what the fuck else you're supposed to interpret this as let me read paragraph three. Oh, it's just the one that i read before it just says that joe's one through 50. so i mean that's all it says is that he's suing an additional 50 people so how could that possibly be interpreted as anything other than he's suing a lot of people on the internet for making fun of him. Because how else are fifty people contributing to to his mental, you know, his buck breaking, his brutal psychological buck breaking that has actually he got buck broke so hard it penetrated his nervous system and now he can't. He's disabled. He's a fucking cripple. He's gonna be riding around California in a mobility scooter. Uh, shopping at Walmart, parking in the the blue lined handicap parking space because he got buck broke so hard by Twitter, by fifty John Doe's on Twitter that he can't function anymore. I'm giving him attention, so he already won. Uh, I give all retards attention. How does he benefit? Because he's selling these. I'm uh, look, look. This is merchandise that look chat, look chat. I'm giving him attention. What you can buy this merchandise uh on the on the on the vicious vickers shop do you want to be wearing a shirt that says the good the bad and the vicious vexatious litigant or good the bad and the vicious they call me pro se jones bish is this uh, look do you want to go buy this you can buy this right now like i'm I'm giving him attention because this is fucking ridiculous this is the behavior of a mentally ill person that i want to make fun of uh that's why i'm talking about him because It's funny to think that Mr. Vickers was at one point the innocent bystander father of a girl that was impregnated by Ethan Ralph um, in a really toxic, toxic relationship who was a victim at some point and who now uh, is a bigger draw than than Ethan Ralph. Because, like, this guy, this guy, unlike Ralph, this guy had a lot of shit to lose. He's got a business that you could uh, put liens against. He's got a family that he should be saving for college and shit with. Uh, there's, he's got a lot of stuff you could take away from him. He's got a lot of stuff that he could burn to the fucking ground. 
uh, and he continues to just act as belligerent and unlikable as humanly possible. I'm just sitting here thinking, what is wrong with you? What could possibly be wrong with you? That's uh, truly bizarre. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.